Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and this one's on uh, Jabba's Palace from 2012 and the Rancor Pit from 2013. Of course. Well, well, since these two sets kind of come go together with each other, so it make it sense to have it together in one review. But yeah. So on the front of each manual, you can see the uh, Darth. Uh, Lego Star Wars logos and the two different borders of the year the Darth Maul one for 2012 and the Yoda one for 2013, of course. And of course, picture of the sets that there are and the set numbers in the corners. Or, well, just for Java's Palace, have uh, two of which with that on the back. We'll have the building steps for that. And the second of which. On the back side, and just how to win on the online survey. And then add for like a club, and then a little a comic strip thing with the minifigs of the set. And then all the minifigs and features of the set, and then some of the pieces that come with the set, of course. Which is two pages, and the last building steps. And then for Rancor Pits one. Okay, so now on to the mini pigs included. First up are the main actual pigs for Java's Palace, of which being a uh, episode six version Han Solo, which kind of the same that came in the uh, twenty ten Slave One, which with the same hair piece that's been used a lot for a long time, at least. Till the till they finally updated in like twenty, uh, uh, fifteen sixteen or so. Uh, but yeah, and then Chewbacca, which kind of interesting seeing it in this kind of style here for twenty twelve. Well, at least until they finally updated him in twenty fourteen. Of course, since last year's of that, of course. And then have a what's called Boosh here, which would the helmet piece of which which we just got. Last year, 2023, as a helmet set for that. But, however, the sculpt wing work on this, just the piece alone, looks quite good and sculpting quite well for that. And then, as torso print, leg printing, all quite good on how it is. Got both the staff kind of piece and also a thermal detonator on a flat stud, of course. And underneath of which is, of course, just Princess Leia with the hair piece that you can swap out for that. And of course, same exact face print that's been used for Leia for, for a, quite a while then. Uh, of course. And then next to which is Bib Fortuna, of which second version that we've ever had of him. Well, first time of which was obviously in uh, Jabba's message set in 2003. And of course, other version of it we had in, uh, Jabba, in Boba Fett's palace from the Book of Boba Fett in 2022. So of course the middle version of the two. But however, the uh, headpiece of which is kind of the same as from that original 2003 version, but the face printing and torso printing, all quite good for that. And also the face print, which good update from that original version, but yeah. And the next one, which is Ula, which for her torso print, leg printing, all looks really good for how it is. And 
face printing, also quite good, and the uh, 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 head top piece of which just quite the same as we had with uh, Hera in Star Wars Rebels, but at least a little different uh, printing and all and sculpt to it. And, but how are the printings on it? Also looks quite good for how it is, but yeah. And then next to it is Gamorrean Guard, which first time of it in this updated uh, printing sculpting style of it compared to like the earlier ones, which were like Chewbacca, of course. But however, and this did also carry on into the uh, Boba Fett's palace set in 2022. But of course, that had different uh, light printing and such. And this one of which also comes in both sets. In both of these sets, of course. But however, since of course there's probably a pair of it in the film, but yeah. And then last of which is Salacious Crumb. And this was probably the first and only time we ever had of him. But however, this sculpting of him, which well captures his appearance quite well. And unlike all other figs of which, he's kind of just kind of sits on a stud for that, but it's kind of loose for that since he's a soft rubber, of course, as you can see there. But however, although if you follow Clone Wars, then there's these other ones of him, but just in different colors of which, although it would be nice if those were made as uh, mini figs, but yeah. And then to the back sides of each of them. And of course, very few of which do have back, uh, or back heads or double side faces, of course, and also slight back torso printing for that of Ula and also Chewbacca's back print, uh, which same as they've been since till this point. And of course, Princess Leia's of which does have the binocular piece acting as like a mini jetpack, of course, and Han Solo's of which, which, oh, whoops the closed eyes for that, representing him stuck in carbonite, which will, which is also included in the set, which I'll go over in a bit. But yeah. but how about this minifig selection as a whole of which? Well, it would also, well, at least good to have the uh, Boosh Disguised Leia, which didn't come in any sets afterwards, and also would be nice if undercover version of Lano Calrissian and uh, 3PO and R2 also would have been included as well. As well, maybe that would have been a little much, but yeah. And also would be in all right if Ula was like out of this set and included with the Rancor pit with give it an extra fig, but maybe that would have been much, but yeah. And that's about it with the main things included with the Java's Palace. Now, onto the uh, three out of four of the figs that come in Braincore Pit. And why not include that since the Gamorrean Guard did come in bolt sets, anyways? So we'll get to lessen it up a bit. Like we would have Jedi Knight version Luke Skywalker, which with the torso printing kind of similar to the one that was introduced in the speeder bike set in 1999. However, all updated for this set as well. And of course, holding a bone, which he uses to put in the mouth of the Rancor, of course. Okay. And then next have the Rancor Keeper with the uh, brown hood piece. Thanks for that. And of course, some slight torso printing for that. And also a little uh, gaffy stick or something for the uh, move around the Rancor, and also, and as you can see, all these figs in this set, not only like printing, except for the Gamorrean Guard, since, of course, at this time and today, in Star Wars sets, like printing's kind of hit and miss for that. And then last of which is the uh, classic uh, skeleton in piece with not much to say for that. And then, as for the back head printing, or double side faces that, both Luke and the uh, Rancor Keeper both have as well that, and also his which a sad expression with a little bit of a teardrop to it. 
you know, two drop to it, representing the Rancor has just died, of course. At least until in Book of Boba Fett, kind of itself. And that's about it with that. But also with Java's Palace is the Bo Omar, yeah, Bo Omar Monk Droid, which also same as in the 2003 version of Java's Palace, of course. It's like where it's built with the arm pieces from classic space sets and also with uh, classic katanas as well. And also a little crystal ball type of piece, but with nothing in it for that. So at least good to see it uh, return in this version of the set, even though little to no change since that original 2003 version. But, but either way, still kind of good to have, but yeah. And then also with uh, Java's Palace is Han Solo and Carbonite in this which updated version that they that has been used since 2010 till present. Although wish they would up wish there could be an updated version with the newer updated hair piece. He's with that, but yeah. And of course, it does have spots where you can fit your Han Solo mate into as well, like that. And then next to which is the great Jabba the Hutt, the which second time we've ever had him, of course. Well, this version, which also came in a Jabba sail barge the following year, and of course, oh, oops, but also major upgrade from update from the uh, old versions that version that came in the 2003 version of Jabba's palace, and also the 2006 version of the of Jabba sail barge. Of course, but yeah. But however, unlike those two, where this bottom part of which, which is uh, round, not just like three separate pieces for the tail part, it's actually one whole piece of which with a bunch of studs underneath, of course. And a blue pin that attaches to this top torso part of which, uh, which uses like different sculpted uh, arm pieces, one of which with a tattoo on it. And of course, but however, all the printing, sculpting of which looks really good for how it is. Like if they were, like if both of these sets were to be released now, I think would and include Job the Hunt in it, then I think this would be the exact version that would be included in that. And it, also, the sculpting of this of which can also be workable with like Zero the Hut from the Clone Wars and also the couple other huts that else that appeared in Book of Boba Fett and such, but yeah, well, just the same, but yeah. And that's about it with Jabba the Hunt. And then next to which is the Rancor. And this was kind of a unique big fig that we haven't seen in any other sets except for this, but yeah. And also, and then as for the feet, Legs of which also the same as other big pigs that can st stand on a bunch of studs, of course, and unlike most of which, kind of a rigid back and tail part, unlike with the Wampa that was introduced two years or, or three years earlier to this one, and like also like those uh, some like some others, ratcheted joints in the arms, and also swivel in the wrists, and. Like the Killer Croc one that came in the uh, Lego Batman movie line, also has posable fingers, same as in that one, of course. There's, but also a bit of asymmetricality, like one arm which has a shackle that has a stud that connects to a small chain, but the other which nothing at all. And then as for the head part, just the same, but which really good printing. Or, and also good sculpting work on top of it and so on. And now how are the mouth part can open right up and just enough room to uh, place a mini fig into you know, like the, like it actually would of which, with, of which great for that. And also one big flaw with this is that if you were to use the bone to open the mouth all the way, 
doesn't do so. So that which major flop with it. Although I think there should be a newer style bone piece that could fit into there better, but yeah. And also, if this set and if this Rancor was to be put out in a set now, I think it would probably be just about the same as this, and can be in different colors, like obviously in black, like in Book of Boba Fett, and maybe also let there be a, a scaled down version of it, so like in the Bad Batch, but yeah. And also, forgot to mention is on the top of both shoulders is just two studs that you can put some stuff onto there if you wanted, but yeah. And that is about it with the Rancor. And now, first one of the sets is a Jabba's Palace, of course. Which, this was from first glance, looks almost quite close to the Boba Fett's Palace in 2022, but also a major update from the original version from 2003. And also this is first look with, but the other side, which also like that set, like that, or it's like fully open from the back, of course, but, and like that, and also this tower, which is kind of modular to that. And the fun fact is, with the uh, 2003 version, where it had two separate smaller sets being uh, Java's Prize and Java's Message, which were small separate sets that you can attach on both sides of it and make the full Java's Palace. For that, for this one, in which you get all of that in this one set, of course. So, like this door part is supposed to be Java's Palace or Java's Message for that. Representing when R2D2 and 3PO come to this, and then the little, uh, little bit here kind of comes up and talks to them a bit. And then further upwards, I have a little uh, wheel rack kind of piece with a astromech droid head on top and a couple of blasters on top for that. And then further upwards, have the usual Tatooine style of building, architecture style for that, but just done with these like astromech droid heads here. And what this uh, technic bar piece is for is where you can lift this door up and. Oops. If you don't have the eye part in the way, lift right up, and then that which kind of stops it there. And of course, can like pull on that and have it drop down, of course. So, kind of good feature for that. And then this top part, I was built quite well with this half cylinder part and also these ridgeway parts, and then couple of Utes, the flying saucer dish kind of parts as roof top shingles and also corner wedges and the asteroid droid head for that. And then on the back side of which, which in this lookout part of it has the little binocular kind of piece and a blaster to there. And lower down in which is crate with a blaster and a bottle and nothing else. And then lower down is Kind of the entrance way for you to open that door and walk right in. And then one side of which is, of course, of three technic uh, hole bricks to attach to the side of, side of Java's palace, or the main palace part right here. Like so that kind of part to it, and. Also, like in the uh, 2022 set for that, the back part kind of swings open and have kind of a little uh, few studs in a flame and a pot pan on there. And also got a few cold coins, probably to represent uh, credits and a blaster, and then a little frog for Jabba to eat. And can like close this back up as well. And as you see, it's nothing but just uh, dark tan uh, slope, jagged slopes, and also this roof part, which you can come right off with that. And of course, with that, get a little bit of extra lighting in here. And this little uh, section that Java can sit on, which is quite simplistic for how it is. 
well, a couple of uh, jumpers where you can uh, sit, to, uh, what's the name, uh, Slave Leia onto and be enslaved by Jabba, but you don't get Slave Leia in this set. Maybe just to keep it to politically correct or so. But also have this little tile and a few jumper plates on there, which where you can sit a uh, Jabba onto, and of course an extra stud to uh, sit Salacious Crump onto. Uh, let's see. Here. Yeah, like that. And then place it back on like so. And also, as for that uh, time plate that I mentioned earlier, can pull that out and kind of push it right forward like so. And see, kind of tight space. I do have a little smoker on the side here. And also a mini table with a, a gold cup piece there. And also got sort of a, a wedging kind of panel piece for everyone to witness uh, getting eaten by the Rancor. And then, and then one side which have another one of that and also an empty crate there. And have this little side which, which has hot and carbonite onto of course where Leia can sneak up to and uh, melt them out, of course. And then, as for that uh, panel for the, and also this little grill piece there, where you can pull open and then have a character drop down into the Rancor pit, which I'll show later, but, oh, whoops. And as for underneath the uh, Java's palace set is have these uh, four little uh, square indents for that, which may which maybe look like it's unfinished, but it was like that. But for a few months, found out that can attach to the Rancor pit, which when that got put out, could actually do that. And as for the roof that I mentioned earlier, which as you see, large uh, jagged slope kind of pieces around like we saw in later uh, AAT for that. And two layers of that going out to an astronaut droid head. And what this little technique rod is for is where you can press that and uh, launch a single click fire missile out of it. Unlike with the uh, 2022 set, didn't have that at all. But yeah. And then how to attach this tower part back to it is quite simple. And where there's the three pins that align with that, like so. And that is about it with Donna's Palace. And now on to the rest of it, the Rancor Pit. Of course, second time we had this one, which first time came, was part of the 2003 Java's Palace set, but in that set didn't have the Rancor in that, so this one, and of course, wasn't a separate set, but however, this is which major update to that. And then, first off, for the bottom part of which, like this uh, large base part, just the same as a uh, Java's Palace set like with the curved plates around it, of course. But of course, like that, so they can match up but, uh, quite well for that. And then, like, one side of which, which doesn't have anything for that. But also this little, little ugly rock piece that you can open up, and enough space to put someone in there if you wanted. And then one side of which, which is another simple uh, sculpt piece for that, which if you pull on that and lift up the tile, then there's an extra bone and a little key part to open the gate part. And then the same design as the other side, but doesn't open. And then last of which is a little crate with a classic, oh, whoops, 
of the classic turkey drumstick piece of which to obviously feed the rancor then and also a single a flat green stud represent the ooze or some bit of oola on there of course and also a large open space here with enough to put the rancor into there obviously and then also a little cage door piece like we see in some castle sets that open up in and outwards and little bucket piece there and also another key and a pitchfork for the rancor keeper to use and then other side of it have this large uh, castle gate piece that can like lift upwards and these technic bits on here can uh, close it right it then if you like take the rain core you can like take it and drop it right down for that although not quite very much accurate but still well captures that part quite well and also like the java's palace set you can like open this up and also make it a little easy to access and all and of course have a couple torches on top as obviously but yeah and so now how to get bolt sets together and also basically there's on the top part which has the uh, tiles and such but have these couple of jagged slope pieces that form mini pyramids and and so now can these work with the 2022 uh, Boba Fett's palace set? Well, no, that set doesn't have any open parts to it underneath it, but only this 2012 uh, Jabba's palace set kind of does. But anyways, how it goes like is take Jabba's palace and the open slots underneath the witch and just slide it right down like so. And also, as you can see, it kind of leaves the tower part fully like angled off for that but one best hint to do so can like swing this part open and has extra standing space to that and then as for the dropping kind of feature I need to take a look here. and then just pull on this and if you got it right have them drop right down so here we go one more time. Take this and like so. Okay, let's do so again. Or maybe two at a time, obviously. Well that part kind of worked. Well, if you like knew how to position it right. Or them right, of course. So let's see. So this switch. So now, okay. And so now for my overall verdict on this, on these two sets, I think this is which a quite unique, quite cool idea for that, like two separate sets that work with each other. And of course, this is which major upgrade from the original uh, 2003 version of Java's Palace, but and of course almost as good as the uh, later 2022 version. Of, uh, of Java's palace set or Boba Fett's palace set so even though that didn't have the rancor dropping feature and of course this did pack a little more since of course this was episode 6 that one was Book of Boba Fett of course and of course the rancor of which 
just a great one to include and of course the playability with these sets really good for how it is like get the door dropping feature even though it might not function well like with java's palace on top of which well unless if you had a uh, extra bits to extra pieces to uh keep it more stable and all and then also and of course java's uh, java the hut also nice to have included even though also came in java sail barge of course and also good to have a couple exclusive figs like Slash's Crumb and Ula and Boosh Disguise Leia. Like if they were ever put out in sets again, I think they would probably be the same, but yeah. And of course, nice to have a couple a little bit of an iconic sequence from any film, which although for either sets, would be nice to include a uh, undercover version of uh uh, what's the name? Lano Calrissian, and also the EV9 uh, droid that came in the original uh, 2003 Jabba's Palace set. But maybe that could come in a later version, but yeah. But however, the uh, price points of both of them, uh, both of which quite good for how they were. For that. Like if they were put out yet again, probably be almost the same, but yeah. And so now, if if y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and are still looking to get these sets, I'd say definitely get them. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.